Hello and welcome to Comstock Field, where we have the NBC Conference semifinal here. The Mansfield Christian Lady Flames taking on the Mapleton Lady Mountains. This tournament action soccer will be a live stream to you live and free directly on your smartphone, TV, tablet, or computer. And it all comes to you next. <laughs> uh. Did you make the right decision about schooling this year? Mansfield Christian School is designed to turn your questions into confidence. For 60 years, Mansfield Christian has partnered with families and churches to train our children in a biblical worldview. Every day, someone is shaping how your kids see the world. Now more than ever, you need to have confidence that the teachers, curriculum, and programs at your child's school are a match for your values. For Christian families, our values are your values, and you can have confidence that you made the right decision at Mansfield Christian. Park National Bank treats your dreams like they're our own. Whether it's making memories in your first home or making an impact in your community. At Park National Bank, what means a lot to you means a lot to us. Thanks. Great having you. Incredible women. I wish they had those kind of cool careers for women when we were growing up. Growing up. So in this flashback, we're all the same age? Yeah. What does everyone want to be when they grow up? If I say two jobs, do I get extra credit? No. I want to make immersive video games. I want to revolutionize 3D printing. I want to analyze data from the cloud. I want to be a meteor. You mean meteorologist. No. That's great, Al. Follow your dreams. For the record, I was a baby in the 70s.
welcome back to Comstock Field. Storm Blunchley joined by the illustrious Garrett Parlett. Garrett, a late kickoff here for uh, for us tonight. The last game actually going to penalty kicks. That might be the first time I've ever seen that at the uh, high school level. Yeah, Storm went into OT there, two golden goals. Neither team could, uh, could uh, put one in the back of the net. But then Crestview was able to win in penalty kicks, which is a thrilling finish. And that's why we're a little bit late coming up here tonight. But we got a good, another good conference semifinal him here in the NBC between Mapleton and the Lady Flames here at home. Yeah, that sure was a wild finish, man. It does not get much better than that. I know everyone here in this press box was on the edge of their seat watching that one. That was, I mean, that was absolutely wild. But now we have another uh, NBC conference semifinal here between Mapleton and Mansfield Christian. Interesting matchup, too. Mansfield Christian comes in 5-6-2. and two. Up and down year, however, last time out they lost to Louisville one to four. They score about three and a half goals a match, and allow four point three. So uh, you can't win games obviously when you allow more get more goals to them than you score. So that's why it's been an up and down battle here for the Lady Flames this season. But coming in at home, so they got a little bit of home home field advantage storm. So we'll see if they're able to upset Mapleton here. Yeah, as we look at our uh, team spotlight for Mansfield Christian on our Coney Island Diner pregame show, five six and two as you mentioned. Lost last match four to one. Uh, you know, up and down season, like you said, Gary. I mean, you pretty much nailed all this without the graphics. So good on you, man. As we switch gears to our Mounties <laughs> uh, team spotlight, seven five and zero. Oh, they lost their last match to the the loser of the last match as well, uh, Loudonville three to two. Second season under uh, Carly Stevens, who we actually know a good personal friend of ours and they're currently entering this game on a two-game losing streak. Yes, from Mapleton, they got one of the premier goal scorers in the area, but as you mentioned, Carly Stevens, it's, uh, it's a little surreal. You know, the referee know. graduated with her. We're now adults she's now. Now, now. Now she's calling game, or not calling him. She's coaching. Yeah. We're calling games. We're not coaching uh, talker. <laughs> so, uh, she, she got her squad in a good spot. She came on last year and was able to help Mapleton and kind of turn this program around. So they're back above 500 and have a chance to come in here and win a conference semifinal. Let's take a look at our keys to victory here for Mansfield Christian. Of course, think little, play big. Gee, man, they got to play through Abby Little tonight and uh, turn up the heat, be on the attack. As Stormy mentioned, Abby Little, she 17 goals so far this season, five assists. She leads the team in both categories. And then Mikey was turn up the heat, be on the attack. They got to get Mapleton off the, you know, on their heels because Mapleton, they love to be on the offense attack. They got girls that can score with a, pl with a plethora of different ways. Burnley Young, and I, we already mentioned the junior striker for Mapleton, one of the best goal scorers in the area. She has 35 goals on the season, uh, 10 assists, and leads the Mounties in both categories as well. Take a look at our keys to victory now for the Mapleton Mounties, not the Mapleton Mountains. They got to control the clock. Time of possession is going to be clutch, and they have to play through the Youngin. Yes, yeah, so I, I just alluded to it. Brindley, Brindley Youngin, excuse me, the striker. She's uh, she's dominant. Take a look at the graphic here. She leads the Mounties in both, and she's got to be a player to watch here for Mapleton here tonight. And for Mansell Christian, I think their defense, they're going to have a key eye on her storm. They're going to have to try, to try to limit her opportunities, especially when she gets it close up into the goal. Let's take a look at now our player spotlight for Mansfield Christian. I bet you can guess who it is. Abby Little, the senior forward, 78 career goals so far, and that's just scratching the surface of what she's done. Yeah, one of one of the better players in the area. I've been fortunate to come here a couple times so far this season and call a few games with Brian, and she's usually making a huge impact on the game. And we've seen when they took on Crestview out at Scott Bailey Memorial Field, they had a couple. She had a couple goals to try to win that one, and they were able to do so. So, Mansell Christian is a good matchup here tonight against Mapleton. You know, I unfortunately have only been here, I think, once so far this season. I actually originally was not even supposed to be on the call for tonight, but, uh, you know, some scheduling things happened, and, you know, it, it's now, you know, the dynamic duo on the call here tonight on, on a chilly Tuesday afternoon. It's nighttime at this point. <laughs> yeah, it's past my bedtime, so I'm usually, you know, we're already past our uh, – usual time for games so this is a bit of a different kickoff so the west coast fans might be getting a little bit of a, of a treat here yeah as we take a look at our mapleton mounties <coughs> starting lineup here anna sass uh ryan harris <coughs> brian abels sierra lincoln's uh anna sass again this time just wearing number four <laughs> caitlin vermilia uh brinlin youngin grayson Beatty, piper weidinger ava Hardesty and Skylar Hopsetter. And uh, as we mentioned 
Carly Stevens, the head coach for the Lady Flames. Alisa McFadden, Grace Raider, Aaron Hope, Lanya Chase, uh, Avery Johnson, Noel Bear, Adrian Clary, Abby Little, Clara Raider, uh, Myra Beer, and Abigail Herringer. So some good starting lineups. This should be a good conference semifinal we got as Mansfield Christian on the attack. They cross. Shot for them. Blocked actually by Abby Little. That one will be out of play. And it'll be a goal kick here for the Mounties. Early opportunity here for Mansfield Christian. Almost able to cash in. Abby Little had a chance there. Just sailed it a little left, a little wide for the goal. Can't cash in now, Garrett. All the banks are closed this late. <laughs> How many times do you think we'll talk about that? <laughs> Neither team can cash in in the last game. Strong. They both struggled. Uh, they had to take penalty kicks to decide that one. Now they had to go to the overnight ATM, the overnight deposit, <laughs> the drive through <laughs> This one will be tracked down by Sass. Right in the possession of Abby Little, though, for Mansfield Christian. They're trying to work it around. Mansfield Christian, a little too hard on that touch. Kicked out of bounds by Youngin. That'll be a throw in for the Flames. Ball's predominantly been on this side. Mansfield Christian on the attack. As I mentioned, they, they really got to do here tonight against Mapleton, who puts up a lot of goals. Lady Mountain and score about six goals a game. Allow just 1.8, so doing a good job on the offensive attack as well on the defensive side of things are the Mounties, but here's a chance here, but this one will sail and go out of bounds and be a goal kick. So in the early stages of this one, see Mansfield Christian with two shots, neither of them on goal yet. But I'm sure that will change as things go on. And Garrett, I'm sure it's, you know, pretty weird for them you know, starting to gain this late, and it's, I mean, it's in the, it, we're into the later half of the season. It started to get cold around this time, so, you know, that, that's that's got to play a factor here. Yeah, this is going to be an adjustment period here in the first couple minutes of this one. Uh, they had to sit out, you know, a while. Weren't, we're slated to start at 7, but didn't get kicked off really until about, you know, 8, 10. So. <laughs> <laughs> so they had to wait around an hour and 10 minutes, Storm, before they were able to really get on the pitch and get moving. The, uh, you know, they try to stay warm on the side, doing, doing some, uh, you know, warm-ups and stuff. But it's a different ball game when you get out there and get full, you know, full going and full force. Yeah, just a skosh over 50 degrees here at kickoff. I mean, I'm I'm bundled fully in the jacket, the hat, uh, the fingerless gloves. I'm bringing them back in style. So I'm all bundled up, me and Adam both, man, with the fingerless gloves. Even you. You're not a guy who – you know, you're kind of just Mr. Tough It Out, and even you got the gloves on tonight. Well, because you had them. If you didn't have them, I wouldn't have them <laughs> on. So, <laughs> luckily, we, we had an extra set that I could borrow. But I, I did miss my cap. My cap, the, the same one that you have. There's one over there. I know, but it just doesn't – I just can't, I can't, <laughs> can't get with it. I don't know what it is. I like <laughs> the I like the toboggan. Isn't that what they're called? That's uh, what my dad calls them. Yeah. They're cool. I like them. Mansfield Christian now. That's a great ball. Abby Little's going to have an opportunity. She a little bit of a miscue there from the Flames. Gives possession back to Mapleton. I believe that was Calorator. I think she was trying to get it to Abby Little on a little bit of a cross, but had to also avoid the offsides. Able to do so, but not that great of a pass. As Mounties able to step in front of it and there could be a chance here for the Flames, but this one will be kicked out of play. Hope was trying to track that one down, but Wettinger got there first. And it just seemed like there was a little bit of a uh, – uh, yeah, it was Raider and Little on that through ball. And it just kind of seemed like they weren't communicating who was going to go for it. So it ended up in possession of Mapleton. Going to have a decent opportunity here if – Lincolns can get to it. Still battling for possession. It's a great opportunity for them. Mapleton deep in the territory. That one, however, 
going to be snatched up by Mansfield Christian. Great defense from McFadden getting back and stopping that one in its tracks. Goalie able to get a hand on it, stop it. Still scoreless here, just short six minutes into this one. Well, in the last game, Garrett, we I don't think we saw a single goal till the second half. So like five minutes, it was like yeah. ten, ten five minutes left too. So you know, we it could take a while to have these teams get cooking here in this one. Of course, in the tournament action, though, there's a uh, two 15-minute golden goal uh, halves if still uh, tied up at the end of regulation, and then the PKs, of course, can't have a tie here, you know, in the tournament. No ties, Storm. No ties allowed here today. No ties allowed. Got to have a winner. Mansfield Christian now on the throw-in. Little uncorks. One and that one through the legs of the defender. Goal for Mansfield Christian. Wow. That's the case, Storm. What do we like to say here on this one? The butter Just butter fingers, man. You're... You're getting a little tired before the game. I mean, it's just a routine stop, wow. too. She knows it. That's like in baseball, you know, when you try to get – you don't get the glove all the way down. The coach teaches you the glove's got to touch the dirt, man. That's that, That's a tough one. It's just one of those routine plays where, you know, you're not you're, – you're trying to you're trying to pick it up, get going, and get moving and try to get it out to some of your, you know, your teammates, but just not able to get – Looked like she, she was trying to yeah. move but before she was able to stop it. And Mansfield Senior takes advantage. Abby Little will score her, score her 18th goal here this season. So a little bit of a luck strike in here for Mansfield Christian as they're on the board first with 32.50 left to play here in the first half. Think about that, though, Garrett. Is it, it's far from over, man. I mean, Mapleton still has plenty, I mean, an eternity of time to, to, to knot this one up and take the lead. And we just talked, Storm, about, you know, haven't seen a goal, a lot of goals in the previous matchup. Just six minutes in, we got one. And now Mapleton trying to get a goal themselves. But when you got players like Brindley Young, Br Brindley Youngin, excuse me, you know, you can strike at any time. It's still a lot of time here for Mableton, obviously. Take a look at our scout construction replay. Lincolns tried to score that one. Mansfield Christian handles it, though. Mountie's still trying to go on the attack. Here we go now. They're going to call that one, though. So Mansfield Christian leads 1-0 to zero over the Mapleton Mounties. <laughs> Having some technical difficulties here. But Mansfield Christian, little trying with an opportunity. Keeps it in bounds. Little now with the throw in for the Flames. McFadden uncorks one from way downtown, top of the crossbar. That one would have counted for three, I think, Garrett. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you want to talk about some velocity right there. Not able to cash in. But, wow, what a shot. And it was almost <laughs> right there, Storm. Would have been critical, too. Go up 2-0 two, two here early, but... The post saves Mapleton here early. That that wasn't even a three-pointer, Garrett. That's that's the All-Star Game Ruffles four-pointer. That's <laughs> how far that one was. That one out of play. Mansfield Christian throw in. Their offense has been super aggressive, Garrett, and that was one of our keys to victory. As Little is going to have a one-on-one -on -one here. See if she elects to cross this one over and does. Got a teammate there, but some great defense. I think that was Stanley with a terrific defense for the Mounties. Mansfield Christian still trying to push the lead to two on this offensive attack. Finally turn it over to Mapleton.
There are about two or three <laughs> Mapleton <laughs> Mounties there that were offsides, Garrett. I would have uh that would have been a missed call to say the least, I think, if they wouldn't have called that one offsides. Yeah, they say uh, they definitely had numbers. <laughs> <laughs> to say the well, least. Is that what that's called? <laughs> <laughs> Great call from the officials here. Down at Comstock Field. Here we go now, deep in Mounties territory once again. That'll be out of bounds. Waiting for the call on the field. They're going to give it to Mapleton. They'll have a throw. They give it right back to the Flames. Lincolns has it now. Tries to fit that one through. Does, but seems like her teammate, Youngin, wasn't ready for it. And that'll be out of play. Another Mounties throw. See if Mableton can cash in here on the other side of the field. Haven't had a lot of chances down here. It's going to be Youngin here in the corner. See if she crosses it. She does. Ooh. She does, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> this one's going to roll out of play. So it'll be a throw now from Mansfield Christian. They try to work it out of their own territory. Youngin now going to be called offsides. Had an opening there, but. And that's going to get a watch for a storm if you're a Lady Flames fan because Youngin, if she gets an open space, good luck stopping her. You know, she's one of the best scorers here in the area. Has 35 on the year. Good luck trying to stop here one-on-one -on -one or an open space. So, did get the offsides call there? Did Mansell Christian enable? to avoid a little bit of a disaster. Garrett, it's always exciting to have, uh, you know, new teams on the OH Report. I think this is Mapleton's first time this year, like, at all on the OH Report. So that's pretty exciting, man. At least for me, I know that that is a fact. I have not called or even a highlight. I have not participated in either. But we, we haven't covered their football team yet. We haven't covered volleyball for them. So I think that this is their first live stream they've been on. So welcome. I was talking this year. So welcome this year, Mounties. What a better time. Uh, couldn't be a better time either, Gary, you know, during the tournament. This, of course, is the semifinal. Winner of this one will go on to face Crestview, who, as we alluded to before, won it in PKs, which was very dramatic, to say the least. I can only imagine what, that's what a that big, Crestview bus ride is like. That's a big upset, too. Lonville, Honestly, yeah. One of the solid teams here in this area, and Crestview able to defeat them in PKs and a wild finish. This one's going to roll out of play. A little bit too much strength there on the throw in. Too much mustard? I think it's a little late to be talking about mustard storm, but that's where you want to go with it? <laughs> well, I'm not, Good. I'm not even. I'm not eating dinner until, you know, another hour from now, so. That doesn't mean the audience is eating dinner in an hour. Well, the audience isn't calling the game. <laughs> <laughs> Youngin now trying to put the moves on on the close sideline. Crosses this one to the middle. No one there but Abby Little for Mansfield Christian. Collision there at about midfield. Header to Little. Through ball right there. Tried to sneak it over to Hope, but to be offsides. First offsides here for the Lady Flames is Hope. Just out in front of the pack a little too far. That's our first one here tonight. Mapleton already with two in their pocket. So got to be cognizant of where you are on the field. It's Mapleton now trying to get on the attack here. Garrett, in my memory, the only shot we've seen on goal so far tonight was the Abby Little goal. And uh, that one was just kind of a routine play from the keeper. Two? Oh, yeah. And then there was the four-pointer. Forgot about that one. But both of them coming from Mansfield Christian. Yeah, Mableton really hasn't had a great look. 
I don't really think they've had a chance in the box with it. So, Manso Christian on the attack once again. They're going to have a chance in the box with it. Box with it if they can track it down. Ran into the keeper. Ton of contact there. No call on the field, though. They're letting him play. We saw something like that in a previous game, Storm, and it was called. I think it was a little bit less contact this time, but. And maybe, the, maybe the refs are a little sleepy. Mapleton down the close sideline. Hardesty. Be bumped out of bounds by the Flames. So throw in for Mapleton. So gave it back to Mansell Christian, but threw it right to a Lady Mountie. This one's going to get through, but Mapleton there to clean it up. Big collision there. Yeah, soccer, one of those deceptively, like, contact-heavy sports. I mean, when you get two people running for the ball at full speed, as youngin, it's going to be called offsides. But she tried to wait, too. Yeah. Just caught in the bind right there, not really able to do anything about it. Trying to make a play. Trying to get back into this game, but third offsides here for the Mounties. Like I said, though, it's, you know, soccer, deceptively contact-heavy. You know, you don't have two players, you know, running for a ball. It's like a blindside hit in football, yeah. man. It can be, like, scary at sometimes. Yeah, that's always something that I didn't really know until I got into, you know, covering sports. I didn't really know a ton about soccer. Still kind of learning as, as I go, but very contact, you know, oriented. And it, a lot of grabbing go, and stuff. Like, it's super physical, that, you know, the, the competitors on the field. They love it, so got some physical play here early already, Storm. We've seen on this side of the field when Mansell Christian had it, a little bit of a collision between the goalie and Hope. So we'll see if that physicality picks up. And in the cold, Storm, I think some of those hits might feel even a little bit more, you know, in, in just 50-degree weather with, with no sunshine either. I know. They, they that's, like that's, the, that's the big one. Nothing. If it was some sunshine, it probably wouldn't feel that bad, but. Replace the, the lights with, like, reptile heating lights. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Make it 85 and sunny down here on the field. <laughs> so Mansfield Christian almost with a great opportunity, but Hope can't control it. It'll be a throw in for Anna Sass. Mapleton now still trying to score the equalizer. Youngin could have a chance here. Cross opportunity, but stays in. Yeah. They're going to call that out of bounds. be a corner kick here for Youngin and the Mounties. Just let that one play out just a little bit more. As that was McFadden who ended up going out of bounds with it. Eyes aren't that good, Garen. I don't. I forgot my binoculars, so I'm not sure who that is kicking that corner. I believe it's number four, Storm. Who's Helixson? But this one to Youngin, the cross, the header cheese. Storm not going to capitalize here early for the Mounties as that one sails just over top and lands on top of the net. That should be some bonus points. Take a look right here at our scout construction replay. Perfect, cross. terrific placement yeah. on the cross. Yeah. Just could not finish it. As young and has possession, gets taken away by Mansfield Christian off of the goal kick. Youngin's tall though. I mean, she's like a head above everyone else out there. Yeah, you see, so when she when she gets the ball in her parameters, there's three or four <laughs> Lady <laughs> Flames trying to trying to get a hold of her because you know, Air Specter is a player, one of the better players in the area. Ever since, you know, those couple shots from Mansell Christian, Mapleton's been 
I would at least say in the last five minutes, domin not dominating this time of possession. That is accurate. As Mapleton now with an opportunity. They oh. cross it in, and that's going to be a beautiful score from Helkison as Mapleton scores the equalizer. Maggie Helkison, top right corner, off the left foot too. Tremendous shot, able to tie things up at one apiece. Take a look at the scout construction replay. Tremendous pass. There's no Lady Flames in the area. Able to take her time, cue it up, and find that right corner for an easy Mountie goal. She looked uh, almost surprised to be that open as she – I think she went to pass it and ended up passing it to herself. So Maggie Helkison, look at that, just a little touch right to herself. And she scores the equalizer with 19 and a half to go, and they're gonna have another opportunity. That one past the keeper, but wide left. That time, Sydney Stanley. So now Mapleton here heating up. As we just crossed the halfway point here in this first half. 19.08 remaining in this one. It's now gonna be a goal kick here for the Lady Flames. Mapleton now out there. They got the confidence. This could be a big opportunity for Mansfield Christian, though. That's Raider has it. She's going to unleash one. Oh, just barely above the crossbar, Garrett. But we have some confident players out here, I think, to say the least. I was a bit surprised to see her not trying to cross that storm. She had a little bit. Raider, an excellent player in, in her own rights. Maybe just two, three feet, a little bit lower, would have snuck into that right corner pocket and cashed in, and they would have took another 2-1 lead. But ooh, nice slide tackle. You just, just, just talked about the physical play, Storm. Yeah, we did as Mapleton defender, a little slow to get up. That was a great slide tackle, though. Th those are honestly, like, <laughs> scary. Like, yeah, I couldn't imagine going in for one of those. Just getting cleated right in the calf. Oof. Has this one another shot? That one just barely over the net. Look at the pass from Little. I think that was McFadden. I've had a couple of these from the Lady Flames. They're not afraid to firestorm from anywhere on the field here. As long as it's on their side, they'll they'll uncork one and let it loose. <laughs> they <laughs> like they anything on the other side. Really, really going for those Ruffles four pointers, man. <laughs> Tell you that much. Here's a cross, too. Hope unable to handle it. Still battling for it. Mapleton trying to clear it. They do. Header from Young and touch back to her. Trying to split the defenders. Will get taken away, but bad bounce. Young and trying to track it down. That one will be mishandled on the far sideline. So Mapleton is going to have a throw in. Great job there from the Lady Flame just to clear it, but see if they can try to keep it out of the box here is defense for the Lady Flames getting a little exposed here. But now they're on the attack. Little trying to put that one through. Does now. That one out of play. That was Raider. Garrett, from way up here, that looks like 18. <laughs> I can never tell because I know that Abby Little's 18. So I'm like, that is not Abby Little on our roster. And Raiders had a couple times to cash in. Here's Here Little. Go. She's going to uncork one, but routine play, able to make this one is Grayson Beatty. And she'll get a goal kick, and she'll boot it out of there for the Lady Mounties. Hey, she scored on a... On a slow roller like that one, maybe she was trying to press her luck twice in a row. Can't blame her for I, trying. I'm, I'm all for the just let it fly kind of mentality. Oh, yeah. Because just shoot as many as you can at the goalie. Make her work back there. And, and eventually one of those might slip through. You might get a little lucky. And you might find a corner that's open. That one going to be a little too strong. It'll be tracked down by the Mapleton goalkeeper. 15 and a half here to left to play in the first half on your mechanics bank scoreboard. 
Mapleton now with an opportunity. They take a shot from outside the box. Will be collected by Mansfield Christian in a goal kick. Dinner update here, Garrett. Just in from Linda Mendoza. She made baked spaghetti, so if I'm hungry, I can warm it up when I get home. Big disclaimer, Storm. I've never had baked spaghetti. It's pretty good, man. I'm not a big spaghetti guy. Here we go. Mansfield Christian opportunity. Good crossover right there. Takes one. Great save from the keeper. That was Lanya Chase on offense. Kendall Ramey, or excuse me, yeah, Ramey, able to track it down. Now right back on the attack storm. Little trying to get something going. She's going to uncork one. Just a couple feet high of the goal there, but they're, they're shooting at will here, Storm. Hey, why not let it fly? I, I love it. Why I do not, too. Why the not high octane fly? offense. Exactly. But back to the baked spaghetti, Storm. What is the difference? Don't Couldn't tell you. Mm. It's pretty much lasagna, I think. Honestly, that's, like, that's the thing. No, nah, like I love lasagna. Okay, my Gar thing. My okay, thing. Garfield. <laughs> 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 my thing is, is like, I think I like spaghetti, but I don't like the noodles. Like the thin noodles that go in spaghetti. Like oh, the original what? noodles. I don't know why. Mm. But like the thicker, smaller noodles, I like. I mean, all pasta is like the same. Like you can make spaghetti with anything else and they'll call it something else. But it's like it's still spaghetti, I guess. I don't know. Big spaghetti is pretty good. Here we go. Little's going to have it one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. See what she does. Let's it go oh. right through the legs. Nutmeg. Another goal for Abby Little as a, she plays a little trickery. Lady Flames take the 2-1 advantage. Wow, that went right between the goalkeeper's leg storm. The nutmeg. And I, I thought she had she maybe went a little too far. I thought, I so thought too. This, that this touch, touch. The sham god. The sham that was a sham god. That's the Chris Paul sham god right there. Can we see it one more time on our scout construction replay? I, I thought the same thing. I was like, oh, a little too far too on much, that touch. But Just you know the what tease. Storm. Yep. You know what she was doing is that'll be a goal here for the Lady Flames with 13-20 remaining in this first half. And Abby Little, one of the most fun players around here to watch, I'd say. And, and she's just been so stellar uh, for this Mansfield Christian squad. Up to 19 goals now here on the season. Two here tonight in a, in a big spot, big moment. They need her to play big. And she's not playing Little Storm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was a Jardy. That was an Andy That Jardy. was a Jardy. I'm going to save that to Andy. You're going to have to screen record it and send it to him. I bet he'll post it on Facebook. <laughs> You got to think, though, a lot of time left, Garrett, but, you know, we saw Mansfield Christian take down Crestview earlier, earlier this year, live and free on the Oach Report, and our MVP was Abby Little. As she gets a touch through to Hope. This could be huge for Mansfield Christian. Hope still trying to track it down. will be taken away from Ma by Mapleton. It's been a back-and-forth battle here, Storm, neck-and-neck. You'll, you'll see stretches of 10 minutes of Mapleton where they're playing great and they're getting some really good shots on goal. And then you'll see stretches of Mansell Christian where they begin to dominate on the offensive side. We're seeing that now. Before that Abby Little goal, they had a couple of shots too where they were just letting it loose and letting it fly. Able to cash in with a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. If you're you know, a Mansell Christian fan, you got to love your chances when you get an Abby Little one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. For sure. And when she's got confidence, you, you know, you're, you're feeling good when she's – you know, feeling it and can uncork it from outside the box and, and put it on target. That, that's got to be a good feeling if you're a Flames fan. Ooh, Storm, it's all spaghetti blunchly. True. Garrett Garfield Parlette, do you hate Mondays? Yes. <laughs> yeah, well, must be Garfield, man. There's no other explanation. Yeah, the G-Man, Garfield man. <laughs> Garfield man. I love Garfield movies. I love Garfield. When I was little. You know who else likes Gar? Who else loves Garfield? Brian. Brian loves Brian Garfield. Brian does love Garfield. <laughs> I remember that. I don't know how you could not like Garfield. I mean, I. I, I mean, we eat, are I we are literally of, John Arbuckle. Both of us are. I would not eat the kind of lasagna he eats. I mean, he eats. He could throw it on a whole pan, bro. <laughs> I mean, I could come close, but. 
Not at not with lasagna. I couldn't like no, after could one or two pieces. I'm I'm <laughs> that's spent. The, that's the thing. It's filling. It's been a while since I've had Same. lasagna though. This one's gonna be tracked down by Mapleton. Lincoln's a, a little slow to get up here at about midfield. They're going to stop the clock at 10.28. I didn't even really see what had happened. I think she went for the ball storm. She just she missed and ended up – your legs kind of sweeped underneath her and she just Oof. landed on her back. So. <laughs> so. Obviously in some pain. The trainer goes out there to assess the situation. Take a second here to thank our sponsors, Mechanics Bank, Coney Island Diner, Mommy Bay Turf Center, and Scout Construction. And uh, we're going to take a quick break here. You've been watching Live and Free Soccer on the OH Report. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Mansfield Christian High School. Storm Bluntshley joined by the illustrious Garrett Parlett. Garrett, Sierra Lincoln's able to walk off on her own power. So, of course, our thoughts and prayers go out to her, hoping she's all right. But great great sign, you know, when the, when the player can get up and kind of walk it off, uh, you know, under their own power. Yeah, hopefully she's all right, able to shake it off. I hope she turns out to be okay. But great matchup we got here so far early, Storm. Both teams, you know, sharing some goals in the Mansell Christian and Abby Little. She's got two goals tonight, but her last one was able to take the lead. Went right in between the keeper's legs for a big score as Mansell Christian still holds on to a small 2-1 lead. Well, you got to think about how things would be different. I mean, they don't score that first goal that goes right through the keeper's legs, Garrett. It's all tied at one. Uh, you know, that, that, that was a big deal, and that was very early on. That was early, too. I believe it was the 33rd minute that – that, that goal transpired and just one of those routine plays that y you kind of just overthink and just not able to capitalize on it was the goalkeeper from Mapleton, Grayson Beatty, but she's been able to recover. She's got four saves here, helping out the Mounties get back into this game and still a lot of time for some of those offensive players to get going. Hope with an opportunity, one-on-one -on -one race with the goalkeeper. Mounties able to track it down. We've got 9.30 left to play here in the first half. Garrett Abbey Little just one away from being Mr. Splash Man, making a splash man, the hat trick. I could imagine that kind of accomplishment. Three straight, or not, I guess not straight, but three in a game. What well, would be three straight right. for her if she scores the next right. one, which would be even in this more impressive. In this situation, but not doesn't necessarily have to be three straight, but... Little, he's got the two early ones. Now Mapleton set to have a free kick here. That's Sass. Miscommunication, though. Just gives it up to Hope. There's Look at Little turning little. on the Jets. <laughs> the 99 <laughs> speed trying to track it down like a blur. Yeah, I think Sass didn't realize the kind of speed that Abby <laughs> The heavy little had there, Storm. Almost was able to catch up there. Yeah. And steal, <laughs> steal that one. I mean, she was flying. That'll be out of bounds, and it'll be a Mapleton throw in. I believe that's 
Lincolns checking in. So great to see her back in action. After taking a hard fall there just a few minutes ago. Mapleton trying to score the equalizer here, and Mansfield Christian trying to keep the pressure on, make this a two-goal advantage. So this one's going to go out of play as Mapleton will get a throw in. They're able to be... Get it, the only offense attack here. See if they can cash in here, great opportunity. Lincoln's gonna have it. That one deflected by Mansfield Christian, then saved. So they avoid a catastrophe, as that would have been the equalizer. Rel relatively quiet here for Mapleton. Has been young and their leading scorer and you know a standout athlete here at Mapleton and around the area, but Ansel Christian able to silence her so far. Yeah, she was a little bit of a distraction on Hellickson's goal. But you gotta, you know, give respect to Mansell Christian here on defensively on her, especially tonight. When she gets, you know, on the open field, they got girls converging on her three or four at a time, so and this one. Could turn into disaster, but Mapleton and that's Youngin right there. <laughs> so Leonard tracks that one down, and Bear clears it. Opportunity now for Mansfield Christian. <laughs> Terrific defense, though. Is Abby Little so close to having her hat trick? Took the breath out of me, Storm. Had the gasp in there. So close, too. She's able to get a foot on that. Might be able to float over top. As Here we go. Abby Little once again lets it go. Great save from the keeper. Mansfield Christian still trying to score, but another terrific save. And how about the work from Kendall Ramey? A couple shots there from Abby Little. Another one from Ramey. Neither able to cash in, but now Mapleton <laughs> right on the other side. They're on the attack. Stanley has it deep in the corner. Defense right there on her. That's Clary defending. Be out of play. I think it's going to be a throw in here. Throw in now. That one from Harris. Solo roller will be picked up by the keeper. Here we go, Little, 99 speed, turning on the Jets, trying to get past the defender, has an opportunity, lot of fighting, lot of contact. And Garrett, I think we're going to see a penalty kick here for Little. We know how the Mapleton fans feel about that. Fans a little upset about her, but I think that's a correct call, Storm. I agree. Looked like the defender was kind of Beginning to hook her a little bit there, so, so little should get a chance here for a PK. But I think they're going to let the – can't get the number on that. So it will not be little, Storm. It will be number 13, Noel Bear, taking the PK here for Lady Flames. Clock stopped here just under a minute – or, excuse me, five minutes, 4.59 left. So Bear going to have an opportunity one-on-one, -on -one, and that's going to be a goal on the penalty kick for Bear, and that makes it 3-1 to one for Mansfield Christian. Cashing in was Bear right there. Big-time shot. And now the Lady Flames go up 3-1 in a big spot right before half. Keeper had an opportunity to make a, a play on it, but Bear, too much speed on it. Good start here for Mansell Christian in this first half. Mableton been scoring a lot of goals all year, but the Lady Flames.
coming out and asking for put some respect on their name. They're doing the offensive attack here early. But now maybe a, a chance for Mapleton here. They just like that's <laughs> just so <laughs> fly. I know. Is that's gonna be a header for Mapleton? That one's saved, but it seems like it just seems like every time Mansell Christian does something good, Mapleton just right on the other side, just already down the field. We've seen the lone goal from them. They are now down two in a rough spot, but a lot of a lot of soccer left to be played here. She's young and trying to do it all by herself, Storm. Mansell Christian trying to clear it, but Mapleton fighting every second they Get possession back in, they will. Garrett, check this out right here too, right, right at the bottom of your screen. The six-person lawn chair again making <laughs> making its debut. Interesting tactic because I don't know if I could do that. I wouldn't. I think I would feel, I don't know, just like. I, I we're barely fit guys, in a regular so lawn chair. <laughs> bigger yeah. guys, so I don't think we could fit. That that work for just me and you probably. They probably give out. Yeah, that's true. The thing I don't like about it is there's no arms. arms. Yep. I gotta where have am, where arms. am I going to put my soda? <laughs> of course. Of course. Or my coffee. Don't even drink coffee. I do if it's pretty much milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Just over three minutes left to play here in the first half of action. Mansfield Christian out on top over Mapleton. 3-1 to one on your Mechanics Bank scoreboard. Abby Little trying to make a play. Great through ball, but tracked down there by Hopsetter. This one cleared away by Mapleton. And I know I j we just got done talking about it, Garrett, but the terrific defense. I mean, young uh, Youngin has just not been a factor at all here for the Mounties. She's been silenced here in this first half. Got a full second half to prove it. It's a little bit of time here in the first one, too. But so far, Lady Flames defense uh, has had her in check all night. Mansfield Christian. Giving Hope an opportunity, but they're going to say she was off sides. Seen quite a bit of that here in the first half. That's arm four for Mapleton, three for Mansell Christian. So off sides in the Lady Flames. But if not, it would have been one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. But that's why the off sides was called. Minute 40 left to play here in the first half. Mapleton trying desperately to at least bring this to a one-goal uh, match going into half number two. That one tracked down by the Mansfield Christian goalkeeper. We saw it there, too. After the Mansfield Christian, after their first goal at Mapleton, it's like a flip was switched. Right? No. Switch was flipped. I don't know why. I keep messing it up. Uh, and it was just all Mapleton, this one, from way downtown. That'll be saved. But now Mapleton with no life once again. It came a lot harder to come back and tie this game. It went from down one, now down two off the – the foul and the penalty kick that resulted from it. Now little, no really defenders near, and now able to converge on the Lady Mounties. But if not, she would have been able to turn around from and take a shot. I thought she was going to let that one rip for sure. There's under 30 seconds left to play here in the first half. Be a throw in for Mansfield Christian. That's Bear trying to go over the top. Alley Ute play going to have a chance for a cross. They get it, but right into the hands of the keeper. And that's going to do it for the first half. The Mansfield Christian Flames lead at home 3 to 1 over the Mapleton Mounties. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. You've been watching high school soccer 
live and free on the OH Report. Did you make the right decision about schooling this year? Mansfield Christian School is designed to turn your questions into confidence. For 60 years, Mansfield Christian has partnered with families and churches to train our children in a biblical worldview. Every day, someone is shaping how your kids see the world. Now more than ever, you need to have confidence that the teachers, curriculum, and programs at your child's school are a match for your values. For Christian families, our values are your values, and you can have confidence that you made the right decision at Mansfield Christian. Park National Bank treats your dreams like they're our own. Whether it's making memories in your first home or making an impact in your community. At Park National Bank, what means a lot to you means a lot to us. Thanks Great so having you. Incredible women. I wish they had those kind of cool careers for women when we were growing up. So in this flashback, we're all the same age? Yeah. What does everyone want to be when they grow up? If I say two jobs, do I get extra credit? No. I want to make immersive video games. I want to revolutionize 3D printing. I want to analyze data from the cloud. I want to be a meteor. You mean meteorologist. No. That's great, Al. Follow your dreams. For the record, I was a baby in the 70s. Welcome back to Mansfield Christian High School, where the Flames are up 3-1 to one over the Mapleton Mounties. It's halftime. Here, Storm Bluntschley joined by the illustrious Garrett Parlett. And Garrett, we did see a real thriller of a first half. Yeah, both sides going back and forth. Abby Little would score the first two goals for Mansfield Christian. After the first one, though, the Mounties would get a goal of themselves. That one came from Maggie Hellickson. Yeah, Mansell Christian would kind of go on a tear there, Storm. Abby Little would have the, the nutmeg goal going in between the, the goalkeeper for Mapleton, and then at the end they were able to cash in on a PK. I uh, believe that was number 13, Noel Bear, who had the PK score. So Lady Flames here up 3-1 in control of things, but you can't sleep on Mapleton coming out here in the second half and, and trying to prove something. You know, they're fighting to, to, to win this conference semi and go play Crestview. So we'll see. Interesting half, interesting 40 minutes we have left, Storm, here on the docket. Take a look at our halftime stats here now. Still look at our replays here. Abby Little, here we go, with the little sham god, the nutmeg right through the legs. And 
That's good night from Abby Little. Trying to close this one out in regulation. Must be past her bedtime. The bear uh, penalty kick. As we take a look at our halftime stats here, brought to you by Coney Island Diner, Mansell Christian leads 3-1 to one with uh, nine shots, six of those being on goal, three offsides, 56% possession, no corner kicks for them, but with seven saves, zero cards, and zero fouls. Six shots for Mapleton, three on goal, four offsides, 44% possession, just one corner kick for them, 10 saves, no cards, and no fouls. Garrett, it's pretty surprising, man, the, the low amount of corner kicks we've seen here tonight. Yeah, neither side has had many. Mableton just with the lone one with where uh, Youngin had a chance off the header, too. It was a tremendous cross, but they weren't able to catch in. But the biggest thing on the scoreboard to me that sticks out is that foul from Mableton that set up that PK from Ansel Christian. Without that, it's still a 2-1 game, and they're right within striking distance. But got more of a, more of a climb, more of a battle to get back into this game. Now down two goals coming into the second half. I know we talked a lot about it in the first half, Garrett. you got to think about how things would be differently, or how things would be different, excuse me, if, you know, that first goal, that routine play was made. I mean, it's just a one-point ball game, uh, you know. But then again, can't dwell on the past. Got to have that short-term memory if you're an athlete. Like you said, Storm, I mean, it's hard playing a game of what-ifs, but, you know, that could have had a chance to save that one. If the penalty kick never happens, we're all knotted at one, and, and we're headed into the second half all, t all tied up. But, you know, it's in the past. you got to move on. You can't keep thinking about that. So I'm sure Mapleton, that's with the drone into their heads. You know, we got to move on. we got to get back into this game and giving them some recipes to get back into it. That's going to do it for your Coney Island halftime report. We're going to take another quick break. When we come back, 40 more minutes of soccer action. 3-1 to one in favor of Mansfield Christian. You've been watching high school soccer live and free. Did you make the right decision about schooling this year? Mansfield Christian School is designed to turn your questions into confidence. For 60 years, Mansfield Christian has partnered with families and churches to train our children in a biblical worldview. Every day, someone is shaping how your kids see the world. Now more than ever, you need to have confidence that the teachers, curriculum, and programs at your child's school are a match for your values. For Christian families, our values are your values, and you can have confidence that you made the right decision at Mansfield Christian. Park National Bank treats your dreams like they're our own. Whether it's making memories in your first home or making an impact in your community. At Park National Bank, what means a lot to you means a lot to us. Thanks Great so having you. Incredible women. I wish they had those kind of cool careers for women when we were growing up. So in this flashback, we're all the same age? Yeah. What does everyone want to be when they grow up? If I say two jobs, do I get extra credit? No. I want to make immersive video games. I want to revolutionize 3D printing. I want to analyze data from the cloud. I want to be a meteor. You mean meteorologist. No. That's great, Al. Follow your dreams. For the record, I was a baby in the 70s.
half action where Abby Little going to be going for the hat trick here as Mansfield Christian leads 3-1, to one, trying to make it splash. I think Little's got a little bit more on her mind just maybe about just trying a to win the game. <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 a, just a good amount, you know, going in to try to win this game. But <laughs> see if Mapleton can try to respond here in the second half. They can put up goals in a hurry. They're going to need to if they don't win this one. Just like that LeBron meme, man. It's too easy <laughs> when it's little. The puns, it's too easy. That'll be kicked out of play. And you know, after that third goal from Manto Christian Garrett, kind of like Mapleton went flat. You know, like a soda you leave out for too long, man. That's something you never want to be. Not definitely not with a soda. Never want to leave. Never want to have a flat leave soda. Those are those ones. You know, really get to you. Doesn't take long either. It's like the, the whole thing about, oh, here we go, 99 speed. Abby Little trying to track it down. She will. She's going to have an opportunity. Brings this one back out. Still in the box. Wants to let one rip and does. That'll be blocked, though, from the Mounties. That's kind of the second time we've seen that where it looks like there's not a, a Mansfield Christian flame in sight and Abby Little. Like the flash out of nowhere. Yeah, you can tell she's the fastest player on the field here tonight. She's been able to track down a lot of these passes that somehow it looks like she's not even on the screen and then she just reappears. <laughs> Little Chris Angel, magic act. Wish I had like a magic act of like a steak dinner in front of me. Here. Whew, wow, I do too. You know, I skipped our graduation to go get a steak dinner. At, uh, it's probably phenomenal, uh, too. Uh, what's? Longhorn. No. State Road, it was, uh, no, it wasn't. It was, yeah, it was. Brown Derby Roadhouse. No free plugs. No free shout outs. 25 ouncer. Crushed it. It was awesome. Then, then someone invited me out for, like, post-graduation uh, dinner at, uh, at Cheddar's. No free shout outs. <laughs> and I crushed a chicken tender platter there, too. Needless to say, I was not feeling that great. Sounds phenomenal. Uh, that sounds like a way to way to spend your graduation day. Who would you have for the after after grad? I had a grad party to go to. The day of graduation? <laughs> it was it was uh it was cold piece. Oh, all right. So you Ooh. There was a shot there from Little. Almost had the hat trick. That one just a little bit wide left. Young and trying to stick with her, but a little just too fast. That one just wide left. So you were you were killing the raising canes tenders, man. Yeah, those are phenomenal. That's what I had at my grad party. Those were unbelievable. Always are, man. Isn't that one coming to Worcester too? I don't know. I've heard rumors, but I don't want to get my hopes up. That's uh. That's something that really means a lot to me. <laughs> and if it doesn't, if it doesn't happen, I might be heartbroken. Me too, man. As Mapleton still, really no time of possession, pretty much here in this second half. That looked to be offsides. I was gonna say, <laughs> there's no way they yeah. don't call that one. L Little's fast, but not not quite that fast. Well, yeah, probably that fast, but still offsides. <laughs> So here's a question, Garrett. We have to run from goal to goal. Me versus Abby Little. H how many full seconds do you think she beats me by? She gets the other goal before you get to the half. Oh, I don't know. Well, I don't know. That'd be interesting to see. Gosh, I've only, I've I've only seen her a couple times play, but just like tonight on a couple of plays that I've seen, you got to think, th that's a long distance. I know, but that can be spun either way. True. Wow, you're not even giving me midfield. I'm giving you halfway. So, so you think I would be at the halfway mark when she finishes? When she is like at least in the box. Okay, yeah. Well, no, okay, I'll take that. So I mean, she's still got like it's ten, fifteen. Yeah, that's fair. Also, there's a. 
It doesn't look like there's a one coming to Worcester, but Perrysburg, Ohio. Maybe if we're down, you know, in some playoff games. Get some canes. Mapleton now with their first real opportunity here in Mansfield Christian territory. They clear it, though. And if you're these Mapleton defenders, Gary, you got to keep your head on a swivel oh, a because right of that right score. there. Little putting on the schmooves, going for the goal. Saved. But as, a, as I was mentioning, Garrett, you, you got to keep your head on a swivel because Little could be anywhere. What an effort right there from Little. Just stopped on the break storm, left-footed shot. Not able to cash in. Don't think she got enough power on that one. Keeper was able to stop that one storm, but a little bit of breaking news. A little here. bit of it? <laughs> <laughs> Some breaking news here. Aaron Judge has now broke the all-time. 62. I'm surprised our broadcast didn't get yeah, interrupted <laughs> with it. <laughs> but I don't know. I'm not a baseball guy, so <laughs> sweet. Cool. Congratulations, Aaron. You I saw it. I saw this, this post the other day that it was if the Minneapolis miracle. I thought of you instantly happened during this whole thing. And it was right as soon as he went up to catch the ball. It's Aaron Judge. That's going to be saved by Mapleton's. Uh, goalkeeper. It was Aaron Judge taking ball four in a walk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it made me think of you. I'm surprised I didn't send it to you. But yeah, Abby, Abby Little, she's like the spider. You know, you see when you're doing something and you look over and you see it and you look away to go get like a shoe to swat it or whatever and you come back and it's gone. I mean, that that just like that, man. She could be anywhere. She has possession now. Tries to send this one through to Hope. That one a little too much on it. Will be tracked down by the goalkeeper. So Mapleton still. The offensive struggles continue. Been pretty solid defensively. At least saving the shots, but Mansfield Christian... Opportunity here. Chase. Ooh. Ooh. We've seen a lot of those tonight from Mansfield Christian. As that one somehow doesn't find the back of the net. Not able to cash in there or the Lady Flames, but you got to think Ooh. if you're Mapleton. Mansfield Christian goes up 4 1. It gets, you know, a little bit dicey. Still a lot of time left. 32 12 remaining, but. Going down three goals would be a tough challenge to get back into this game. Let's see if Mansell Christian even gets another shot. And they Chase. will, but this one not able to sneak in that bottom left corner. Just a little outside as Chase not able to capitalize on that shot. Take a look at the replay here. Chase with another excellent opportunity. But no dice. You know, though, Garrett, three to one, uh, you know, it doesn't take LeBron to, to overcome a 3-1 lead. But you know, I think it sure would help. <laughs> well, at, at least now, you know, that we're in the conference semis, it doesn't go to OT. So right now you're just trying to tie it. Worry about taking the lead later. But yep. one, one goal out of time, it has to be. You, you can't look ahead. But Plymouth, or not Plymouth, <laughs> Mapleton hasn't even had a shot on goal. <laughs> those, those violence conference football teams, they do you in like the K-Mac for me, together. man. You start, starting to sound like me in Fredericktown and Cardington Lincoln. Oh, yeah. It, it, it's the red teams, man, they, they all start to blend together. Yeah, and, and, and you know, a lot of great coaches will say that, Garrett. You know, that in, in soccer, there, there's no goal that's worth more than one. You know, in right. basketball, there's no 10-point shot, you know. It all starts, you know, one basket at a time, one goal at a time, one touchdown at a time. You know, that's, that's what you hear a lot of great coaches say. That's what Christian, though, trying to extend their lead. Chase, trying to chase this one down. Will be out of play, though. Mapleton will have the throw. So just 10 minutes through this second half, Garrett, I'd bet to wager 
as Chase is down on the sideline. A little slow to get up. She'll be helped off by Hope. Hope she's okay. Seems to be moving most on her own power, but a definite limp there. Trainer takes over, and now she's walking completely on her own power, so good sign, but you know, as always, hope she's okay, and you know, always hope it's just a cramp or something simple like that, man. Seems to be walking off now on their own power completely, so hopefully just a cramp, but those, those are painful, One of the, something you don't want to deal with. Definitely not fun, man, to say the least. But uh, as I was uh, men uh, mentioning before that, Garrett, I, I would wager to say that Mapleton only has, you know, had possession about, you know, at least <laughs> only like 10 percent. I, I would say even probably that. less. Yeah, they haven't had a shot here in the second half. It's been great defense on Mansell Christian, but it's been really just great offense. Mapleton really hasn't even touched the rock. Now they might have a chance to do so. But Manso Christian right there to break it up. So the Flames trying to go back on the attack. Little gets that one through. Doherty trying to use the speed. One on one. That. Oh my goodness! That one scored. It was like a glitch in the matrix. I it wow. Went out. I I did too. Emma Doherty though. How about that for a magic act? Oh that excuse me. Kayla Raider. Sorry about that, but I'm still in like disbelief of yeah. what I just saw. Another one of those goals where Ableton just kinda let it slip right underneath them. Somehow that snuck into that bottom right corner. Goalkeeper was there, just not able to make a play on it. Is now the lead is ballooned to four to one. That was that was crazy, man. <laughs> I I I legit thought it was saved, but just I like initially that. I thought that it, it was or out of out yeah of play. Out. And then you see it rolling in the back of the net. Let's watch it one more time here on our scout construction replay. Uh, yeah, I have no idea how that A was not out of play or B save. It seemed like she was right there. It just snuck right underneath the keeper and rolled right in for a goal for Kayla Raider. And these Lady Flames is now up three in a big spot. So now another opportunity for the Flames. Robinson has it. Not enough on it, though. Saved by the keeper. See the frustration there from Youngin. As this is not her typical kind of night here for the Mounties. Yeah, used to seeing her storm scoring upwards of about three goals a game. She's usually doing a lot of damage here for the Lady Mounties, but not here tonight. Manson Christian, they've had a good game plan. They've limited her opportunities, and now a, a lot of their – Defense is coming from their offense because the defense doesn't really have to do anything. It's been <laughs> mostly just this Lady Flames offense that's been on the attack really all night long. And it has just been difficult for Mapleton to get anything going on the Mansfield Christian half. They have a good opportunity here. That one's going to be a little too strong. Still able to track it down, though. That was Stanley getting it over and out of Vermilia. She's going to have a chance. That one. Kicked away, though. And it just kind of seems, Garrett, like Mapleton playing a step slow. No shots and no shots on goal here for the Mounties here in the second half. Nothing's been able to go, but this could result in something, Storm. Corner kick here is awarded to the Lady Mounties. 
This is what, just their first one of the night, right? Second, second one. one. They had one in the first half. This will be their second of the night. First see, and second half. See what they're able to do with it. That one, a long one. Far box. Clear it out. Send one from way downtown. Those ones always scare me. Cause off the ground, man, I feel like I would like I would misjudge it. I because it would it would be, I just would have flashbacks to baseball getting grounders that would just pop right up over your head. Freaks me out, man. You gotta thank to the playing service. I'm sure it's getting a little damp, a little wet out there, so the the ball's gonna, you know, change almost every time its path when it does hit the ground. So keepers are used to that. They've been practicing this for a long time and able to save it. Was Heidinger. Maybe we should get you back there on the on the G-Man project. See how many goals you can stop. Depends who's shooting. Is it you Me. shooting? Uh, you won't score. You wouldn't score one. It's Abby Little, actually. Yeah, never mind. How many shots you get? Ten. Ten for ten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. She might even she, get eleven, so I don't know. She has to miss at least one. I mean, well, never mind. She doesn't have to. Come no. on, man. You would get one. I would get one. You would get one. Nine for ten. I'm having some confidence in myself. That one's going to be off. Off sides. I've never actually stood, though, in front of the, like, the goal. It's huge. Is it? It's I it's massive. I don't know the, like, actual dimensions of it, but I, I know it, it is probably a million times harder than what I think it would be. Little here is going to have it. Great through ball. Robinson just a step off sides, though. And the Flames cannot believe it. Apparently it's 12 by 6 feet. So 12 feet across, 6 feet high. I like my chances with, with one. I think, at least. Oh, no, excuse me. Oh, MLS size is 24 by 8 by 5. <sighs> yeah, that I would I would not save a single one. 24 Hope now. Try to track that one down from Answer Christian. Yeah, that So that's just two goals like widthwise. That's outrageous. It's just man. two high school goals. Little tried that one bad bounce. Hope has it. She's going to have it one on one. Couldn't get it to go. Looks like she was. Oh, excuse me. That was Avery Johnson. The nine and the eight man with Mansfield Christian's font. My eyes aren't that good, man. <laughs> uh, I haven't been to the eye doctor in like two years, so. Should have brought my binoculars, man. Well, for Johnson, she had a chance to really, I would say, almost virtually put this game away storm barring any sort of miracle of course if they get five wow. but 23 minutes that's like got to be the earliest you've ever said i it. mean four goals is a huge deficit i would think considering the offense hasn't been there for mapleton here tonight but i wouldn't say it would have been it would have been completely over but they didn't score anyway so still just down three lady mounties definitely have a chance here storm peepers ain't so good bluntly you know he got that right I basically need like two microscopes attached to my face to see at this point. Sus. Telescopes, microscopes. Microscopes are the close. <laughs> Maybe I'm really. It's the uh, one you like. Yeah, I know what a microscope is. Well, I don't know if you do. You know, like I gotta get like this close to read. Yeah, but then if you put a microscope from where we're sitting, you wouldn't see anything. It'd be like this in front of you. I don't need bifocals. I, what it, I I always forget what it is. I'm nearsighted or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't see far away. Can't see up close. Corner kick here for the Mounties. Another opportunity for them that they are unable to capitalize on. I didn't really to get a look at the goal storm. Both of them just went over the head of the Mounties. Is now Johnson. Going to get a run out here and able to not able to clear it. So Mansfield Christian still on the attack. There's another through ball. Wow, what a this pass. one a one-on-one. -on -one. 
That one a little too strong. Still a battle for it. The keeper somehow comes up for it. And Avery Johnson unable to score. Two times she's had the keeper one-on-one -on -one and both times unable to finish. What a pass that was, the setup from Noelle Bear. I don't – I couldn't figure out how she got so wide open. There's nobody really near her. Johnson just not able to capitalize on the one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. On this Mansfield Christian offense has just been dissecting Mapleton's defense. I mean, th their passes have been on point all night long. This is a, should be a goal kick here. But I think they're going to call it a corner here, Storm. No will. Must have been deflected by Mansell Christian before headed out of bounds. So third corner kick here in just a couple of minutes. But fourth overall tonight. Let's see if they can get something to go. Eccleson this time elects it just to get it in. Will be turned over by Mansfield Christian. Or to Mansfield Christian, excuse me. It was great defense from Mansfield Christian. I recognized it immediately as soon as Young was able to get the ball. Little was able to come in and kick that one out of there, clear it for the Lady Flames as now just about 20 minutes remain in the second half. Halfway through half number two here on the Mechanics Bank scoreboard. Will we get a third half, Garrett? Do you think Mapleton has pretty much a miracle up their sleeve at this point? Well, they got the goal scorer to be able to do so, Storm, but I think with this defense here tonight for Mansfield Christian, I don't know if it's going to be possible. There's now Little on the attack, going to try to throw it in. Because now Johnson is going to have a one-on-one, -on -one, but the oh, keeper in this it. one. This one oh. will finally go for Johnson. Third time's a charm. The sneak right there gets it right by the keeper. Johnson finally able to put one in the back of the net. Take a look off the throw from Little. That's an assist right there. The touchdown pass and a great fake from Avery Johnson. So Little, not with the chest pass, the bounce pass. Looking like Chris Paul with that assist. Yeah, Storm, and she ran out there immediately to get that throw in. She knew that they had numbers, able to get it to Johnson, who had missed her two prior attempts to, to get a goal here tonight, but able Look to finally that. cash in on the third one. Defenders there converging, able to sneak it through on the right side, and it falls right in the back of the net as they go up 5-1, and now really beginning to blow this one open. Little. Looking a little like Tom Brady right there with that pass. Oh, I can't turn it off, Garrett. It's hard being the funniest guy in the press box. This one, cross opportunity for Mansfield Christian. That one's saved. Take a look at our scout construction scoreboard. Or scoreboard, replay, excuse me. Abby Little has it. Tried to uncork that one from way downtown. Deflected away from Mapleton. Little temperature update here for you, Garrett. 48 degrees here. This one shot from downtown, no good. And feels like 48. So the ramping down has stopped. You know, it was right about there when we started. But still's cold, still's chilly. My north face keeping me warm, though. No free shout outs. You're getting to sweat a little bit, Storm. No, I wouldn't say that. I'm comfortable, I would say. But I'm also in the press box, you know. I at least have three-ish, four walls keeping me warm. I feel bad for anyone sitting out there. They should they should apply at the OH report. Look at all the benefits you get. You get to sit inside the press box and be warm. Sometimes they're heated. Crestviews is heated. Well, we do have a heater, but... Oh, someone's hogging it all, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to mess with the win. I'm always when I have whenever there are windows at the at the press boxes, I'm always afraid I'm going to be that guy who pushes it through. 
And that is, I would rather just be cold at that point. <laughs> like at Clear, especially like at places like Clear Fork. Yeah, I, I would agree. Clear huge. Fork is scary. That's going to be offsides. Robinson was just a step offsides, a little trying to find her. But, yeah, at Clear Fork, uh, Jess Brokaw, she, um, she's just like, you want me to take care of that? Yep, go ahead. All you. You got it. Thanks. <laughs> maybe someday maybe in like year 10 of the OH report I'll figure out how to put the windows back in Mapleton now with a solid opportunity see if they could track this one down that's what Christian does but it's still inbounds so still an opportunity for them but it will be turned over Robinson gets it to Little. Trying to orchestrate now as Little. Puts this one over, and this time it's Hope trying to track it down. No good. Still no shot storm for Mableton here in the second half. Mansell Christian alone. Four shots, six on goal. Obviously, the two goals to their name, so... So Mansfield Christian still on the attack, Garrett, and, and you know you gotta you gotta love what you're seeing from Abby Little. You know, just has been one goal away from the hat trick for a while, but not playing selfish at all. She is trying to get her teammates involved, and uh, we've seen it. She's she's got an assist off of a throw in, and you know she's keeping keeping the teammates involved for sure. What a big win this would be too if they indeed go on to hold on. She's looking like they should be able to do so with about 15 minutes remaining here in the second half. Up four. They would go on to play Crestview. As we mentioned early on the broadcast, that one was brought to you live and free. Of course, our MVP was Abby Little. I believe was on commentary there. She was. I was match. at that game. And she, she was indeed took on your commentary. job? She took my job for a little bit. I was She's coming for you, man. Perfectly okay with it. <laughs> Another opportunity for Mansfield Christian. That one, a little bit out of play. But Garrett, I, I mean, the ball has just barely been on Mapleton's side of the field. Possession in the first half was a little bit closer, about 56 to 44 percent in favor of the Lady Flames. But here in the second half, I would say it's near the 15 percent mark for Mapleton. 85% for Mansell Christian. They've dominated a lot of it. We'll see if Mapleton can get something to go here, but this offense or the Lady Flames has been on fire. You know, Garrett, I know we had the Coney Island halftime report, but where was the co the Coney Island cartwheeler? Didn't see him. Game's not it over must yet, be getting so too cold, but, it, but it's like halftime's his thing. Might be getting well, a little too cold. Last time I was here, him. it was uh, at the final, so... Oh. I think he might be saving I, it for a little bit of a finale. I didn't know he, he did it at the final. Yeah, he did it. La last time I was here, he did it. But Well, now here's my thing. Does he do it at the final even if he loses? He can't cartwheel if his team loses. I think they I think they, lo they, they lost the last time we were here and he did it, but we also asked him to do it for us. So he's a good sport in, in doing so. So we do appreciate it. Well, listen, I don't come out here to MCS very often, so I – I better see some cartwheels, man. And they can't be like my cartwheels because I can't do them very well. Just wanted to add Storm. Oh, actual information. <laughs> Crusty, <laughs> earlier this season, the team that is in the conference final that we that played a little bit ago, they lost in the regular season to Lawnville 1-3. to They beat them just a short few hours ago. Short Cr few hours. Crusty also lost to Mansell Christian. One to two earlier in the season, and Mapleton also beat Crestview two to six. So, either team that advances here, Storm, would be uh, the favorite. <laughs> uh, I would say Mapleton beat them two to six, and then the Lady Flames were able to beat them one to three. Yeah. So what you're telling me is the Cougars are the underdog. I think they were the underdog coming in to play an even Lineville Storm. I mentioned that Lineville beat them too. So, 
what a shocker that is. And, 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 and I know we keep talking about it, but just in the fashion that it happened. Yeah. It wasn't one of the wildest games that I've ever been to. Oh, for to sure. To the least. And, and we Especially were, we, for soccer, it would be number one. And we were here the whole – I mean, we were here before kickoff. So we watched the whole thing. This is an opportunity for Mansfield Christian. That one, Robinson tried to be like Tony Parker and just float that one over the top, but not going to go. But, yeah, we, we were here pregame, watched it all, and we were like, oh, this is just going to be 1-0. Uh, we didn't get any goals until – Who scored first? Tim Loudonville? Loudonville scored. Loudonville scored, and we're like, okay, it's probably over. And then with three minutes left, Crestview gets the it was, equalizer. It was like an own goal, too. It that was, was weird. Crossed. Very Crestview weird. crossed it, and there was some mis miscommunication, and some thought it was a handball, some fans, but they get the call, and Crestview going to win it. In PK, I, I don't know if I've ever seen PKs before at the high school level. You do now, Storm. Well, I have now. Check that one off the box. Check that one off the bucket list. Now all I need is skydiving, uh, winning a million dollars at the casino, and eating a 50-ounce steak. Those are the only four things that are, are on my bucket list. <laughs> what a bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I never said it was a good bucket list. I just said it was mine. The 50 ounce steak one is one, the one that kind of shakes me. Why don't you just go do that? You can't just go and order that much steak. I mean, that's that's a that's a I'm big sure investment. If you really wanted to, you could well, find yeah, a place but that's or a find some. that's a big investment. And I would have to train. I can't go well, like, and I can't. Your bucket go. list is supposed to be like something that you. It's probably not going to happen unless you like take like serious. Well, yeah, but still, like. You said skydiving, which is a prominent one. How much was that? Like five hundred to skydive? So I mean, they're pretty similar, I guess. About ten minutes left to play here on our Mechanics Bank scoreboard, but uh, I, I, the thing is, is I, I'd have to, I'd want to eat it all. Is Abby Little <laughs> trying to slice through the defense <laughs> at the point? Yeah, but I'm not gonna get there and. I'm not going to get there, and you obviously have to train for something like that. I'm not going to get there, eat 16 ounces, go, oh, I'm done taking 35 ounces home. Well, my, my thing is, like, has. what's the difference between a 16 and a 50? Obviously, it's bigger, but, like, why? Like, That's the difference. <laughs> well, I know, but, like, why do you want to do that? How about changes for you? It's cool. Nothing changes. How many people do you know that's eating a 50-ounce steak? None. Probably. Adam Richmond. <laughs> Adam Richmond? <laughs> Do you know who that is? Uh uh. It's the guy who's on Man vs. Food. Yeah, I want to be in company with that guy. <laughs> that show, man. That poor guy. It's like top three favorite show of all time. I man. love that show. You know what we should do? Do they still do that 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 challenge at Two Cousins Pizzas? No free shout outs? I don't know. I think so. We should do I that. know they had a challenge. We should try it. Even though, like, pizza... I'm not a pizza guy, I'm not though. a pizza guy. It would beat me. If it were wings... If it were, like, practically anything else. Pizza's hard. It's so... To, to there's just so fast. much bread. So what's your... I mean, tell me some things that are on your bucket list, Mr. Judge. Um, going to give you your own daytime television show you judge so well. Well, all my, my, I already did one of the things on my bucket list. I wanted to go to Lambeau Field, and I did That's for a, a night one. game. Big football fan. Green Bay, obviously historic. Hate them, but historic. Um, I always wanted to go to, like, the Hollywood sign. It's a good one, too. Skydive would be up there. Um, I want to go overseas. Oh, I don't know if I could. It's scary. Phobia of the water, yeah. dude. It, yeah, but I want to do that. That's probably about it. Sky, uh, skydive is a one that I think everybody prototypically has on theirs, but unless you're afraid of heights, obviously. So that'll be kicked out of bounds. I think it's going to be a Mansfield Christian throw-in. That is... 
Noel Bear with the throw. Trying to find Abby Little. Tried to get to it. Bear receives it. Sneaks that one inside. Back out to Bear. Going to have a chance for a cross. She does. That was, oh. First off, looked like a handball there from Mapleton. But Robinson, with a terrific opportunity, can't capitalize, though. See if we can see it on the replay right here. It's close. I think hit her in the chest first, but that didn't, well, it wouldn't matter in this yeah. case. <laughs> I think if it hits your hands at any point. I think it, I didn't I didn't think it's, it hit her hand. I thought it was close, but I guess I'll have to go back and watch it one more time here when we get our next break in the action. Mansfield Christian still trying to apply the pressure and keep up the scoring. Just six, uh, 6.25 left to play here. Still no shots from Mapleton here in the second half. Here we At least go. not that I can remember. The super view. We're a little low. <laughs> it's, I don't know. I, I thought I thought, was, I thought I saw a little bit of hand there, Storm. Uh, that's what I'm saying, man. But then again, but you know, there's a reason that uh, you were trying to get to it. I got you first. <laughs> Is it, oh, here we go. Yeah, oh, by, definitely, yeah, by man. Far. But, uh, you know, there's a reason that we're up here and not on the field. Uh, swipe swipe down, uh, barring, barring any miracle. And we're barring one right now, Storm. I don't know if it's going to happen now. What are the other ones? Um, uh, wedgie ball is more than one point. Um, I think that's it. Because there virtually is no swipe down in soccer. Unless we just saw one storm on the handball. Well, that is true. Nine times out of ten, ref will call that. We always say that. <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes left to play here on the Mechanics Bank scoreboard. As Mapleton still struggling offensively. That one will be right into the hands of the keeper. So it looks like we're going to get Crestview and the Lady Flamestorm. A rematch in the regular season. Well, and here's the thing. If you're Mansfield Christian, you got to feel good because you beat them earlier in the season. As the Flames take a shot. That one off target by the keeper. Robinson unable to capitalize. But then again, if you're Crestview, I mean, a lot of momentum. Th think about what you just right. did. I mean, that's like that's like hitting a buzzer beater, man. You you're going to you got to feel good after that. A lot of co physical contact right there, big collision. Going to be no call. That was Mara Berry. That's Rayanne Harris, slow to get up, still limping a little bit. She's up, though, seems to be at least able to get off the field on her own power. I think she's going to even elect to stay in. It's a big-time collision between her and Mara Berry there. Both at least able to get up, be okay. Is Mansell Christian just 342 remaining in here for a big five no, five to one win over the visiting Ableton Mounties. You know, maybe you know if Mansell Christian able to hold on to this lead, they'll all go out for 50 ounce steaks after this one. Uh, all of them. That'd be like <laughs> that'd be like over a grand in steak. That'd be crazy. And, like, at this point, you're showing up to the steakhouse, like, 10 minutes before close. I forgot that it was what, – what time are we looking at, Storm? 9.51 on the Storm Blunchley Always Correct Watch, I think. Yep. Oh, just turned 9.52. 
so you roll in 10 minutes before close. How many girls are on the roster? Probably 20. So 20 50 ounce steaks, please. And a twice baked potato and lemonade. 21 storm. I was close, man. That's a good guess. I'm, I'm horrible at that stuff. I'm horrible at estimating distance, time, numbers, spelling. Spe um, it's can't <laughs> storm can't spell bluntly. Legit can't spell bluntly. What a weird night it's been, though. I expected this one to be a little bit closer, Storm. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. Mansell Christian coming in with a dominant performance. Stifling Brindley Youngin. She hasn't really had any opportunity to get any goals here tonight. And Mansell Christian and Abby Little have done a ton of damage on the offensive attack. Throw in for the Flames as Doherty checks in for them. Two-minute warning here coming up on the Mechanics Bank scoreboard. Wow. Tough ball there from Youngin. She's a little rattled and slow to get up. Yeah, hard fall there from her. So hopefully she's okay. So young and slow to get up and yeah, definitely hit her head there on the turf. You know, you got to hope that it's nothing to do with a concussion because that's scary, man. Just thoughts and prayers with her. And uh, we're going to take a break here as the injury is being assessed. You've been watching high school soccer live and free on the OH Report. Did you make the right decision about schooling this year? Mansfield Christian School is designed to turn your questions into confidence. For 60 years, Mansfield Christian has partnered with families and churches to train our children in a biblical worldview. Every day, someone is shaping how your kids see the world. Now more than ever, you need to have confidence that the teachers, curriculum, and programs at your child's school are a match for your values. For Christian families, our values are your values, and you can have confidence that you made the right decision at Mansfield Christian. Hello and welcome back to Mansfield Christian High School. Storm Bluntley joined by the illustrious Garrett Parlett and Youngin able to get off the field with the help of... Uh, the athletic trainer, so hopefully everything's okay with her. You know, it's, it's always scary when it, it seems like something's head-related, man. Head out the situation you want to be in, but hopefully she's okay. They're able to assess that, but so Christian here doesn't he really need to dribble this out. Just about a minute remaining in this one, and it'll be all she wrote as the Lady Flames will pick up a big win here at home. Yeah, so they stay alive in the tournament. They'll go on to play in the conference final versus Crestview. With just 40 ticks left to play. Throw in here for the Flames. Well, as you alluded to, Garrett, all they have to do pretty much is dribble this one out. That'll be all she wrote. Under 10 left to play. 
And that's going to do it here from Mansfield Christian. Five to one, your final in favor of the Flames as they take down Mapleton in the conference semifinal. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with a player of the game interview, some final stats, analysis, and more. You've been watching high school soccer live and free on the OH Report. Did you make the right decision about schooling this year? Mansfield Christian School is designed to turn your questions into confidence. For 60 years, Mansfield Christian has partnered with families and churches to train our children in a biblical worldview. Every day, someone is shaping how your kids see the world. Now more than ever, you need to have confidence that the teachers, curriculum, and programs at your child's school are a match for your values. For Christian families, our values are your values, and you can have confidence that you made the right decision at Mansfield Christian. Park National Bank treats your dreams like they're our own. Whether it's making memories in your first home or making an impact in your community. At Park National Bank, what means a lot to you means a lot to us. There's a blood shortage and we came up to Dead Lover's Point at midnight on Friday the 13th. Lame. Guess I'm gonna waste all this blood by dying in a predictable horror movie, way. <laughs> 50% of Americans like watching blood get spilled in horror movies, but only 3% donated. When was the last time you donated blood? with our Mommy Bay Turf Center player of the game. Who else, of course, besides Abby Little, who had herself one heck of a night, two goals, as well as a throw-in assist for Mansfield Christian in a big conference semifinal win. Just talk me through the emotions you're feeling right now. Uh, it was definitely very anxious because the game before us went on for, like, ages. Um, two um, overtimes and PKs, and we really did not want that to be us, so we wanted to be on top of things, so... Not only we could go to bed, but also that we could be on top of things and show what we can do early on. Yeah, way past my bedtime here, live and free on the OH Report. But uh, tell me about, you know, what it was like to have such a delayed start. I mean, how, how, how were you able to keep warm and, and you know, come out and, and score early? Um, you know, 
Mrs. Bear had us doing like the weirdest stuff, um, karaoke's. <laughs> like she was like, "All right, we can, I know how interesting the game is, but we need to stay warm. We need to keep our priorities straight. Um, we came here to play our game, not watch that game." So I think just like making sure that we know what we're doing and having a goal and stuff is what kept us warm, honestly. And uh, you were getting your teammates involved. You had the assist, and then you had two goals for yourself. Uh, is the offensive game plan to kind of run through you? You you've been the orchestrator pretty much all season long. Um, no, absolutely not. Um, our whole team is to work through it and work through the middle and not only use us as um, uh, as a team, but um, we want to work it through the middle and use our outsides and use anything that we can to um, just incorporate everybody because uh, we really want to focus on that team aspect and not just an individual aspect. And then you got Crestview in the conference final. You uh, got the best of them on their home uh, turf uh, just not, not even too long ago. So, so what are you going to be looking for in that matchup? Just being able to connect through the middle. Um, Napleton really let us play through our middle, and that's our strong suit. Um, we have a lot of good players there, and we can dish it out to stuff. So we want to be able to maintain it in the middle as well as shut down anybody that comes through our back. We have a strong um, defense, so I just think getting it up and working it through um, is our best strong suit that we can count on. Alrighty, thank you very much, Abby Little. We'll let you get home, go to bed. Once again, our mommy, Bay Turf Center MVP, Abby Little. Thank you so much. Go out and enjoy this one. Thank you. We're going to have, hey, we're going to have Garrett step back into the booth now as uh, you know, he's pulling a little bit of the double duty here tonight. Let's take a look at our final stats on our Coney Island or, uh, Coney Island Diner uh, postgame show. Mansfield Christian won 5-1, to one, 16 shots, 12 of them on goal, 4 offside, 71% possession, 2 corner kicks, 15 saves, no cards, and a foul. For Mapleton, seven shots, four on goal, six offsides, 29% possession, five corner kicks, five saves, no cards, two fouls. Garrett, it was all Mansfield Christian all second half long. Yeah, they could really control time of possession. It wasn't that bad at the half, just 56-44, but Letty Flames dominated with their offensive attack. It would have put an onslaught of five goals here tonight. Got it done on all facets of the game and walk out of here with a big win as they're going to head to take on Crestview in that conference final. And that'll be a good one to say the least, but that's going to do it here from Mansfield Christian. Is, you know, how many times can I use the it's past my bedtime joke, Garrett? I think that'll be the final one. Do one here. more, one more. Well, it's past my bedtime. Got to get home. The, the street lights are on. Mom's going to be mad if, as I want to take a second to thank, of course, everyone who is uh, here to make this possible. You, the fans watching at home, as well as our very generous sponsors. One last time here from Mansfield Christian, your final 5-1. to one. You've been watching high school soccer live and free on the OH Report. <laughs>